the basic idea that makes C++ a modern language as opposed to C as an old style 1970s system implementation language is that C added classes. And classes is a way to encapsulate an abstract data type. So we've been talking about abstract data types in C, and generally speaking, what we use is a struct to create, in effect, a new type of data. But the struct by itself doesn't have operations, and the struct by itself is openly public so it can be tampered with. One of the things that's important in modern programming is encapsulation. And encapsulation allows you to hide stuff. So think about working on a car. There's stuff in the engine that only an, an authorized dealer can get at. And otherwise, it's not to be tampered with. And they, you might call it a black box. You still can use the car if you know how to operate it. So the same thing is true with a class. So C++ takes the concept of struct and adds to it ideas that let you do further encapsulation. Now well, let's think of wanting a new type. Let's call it a shape. So a shape is a noun. And in classical C, we would represent it with some kind of struct. And then we would write various functions that could perform actions on it. Normally, the functions would call on the struct through a pointer to struct. So we could think of a, of a shape, and we could think of computing its area, and we could think of drawing it on the screen, and we could think of finding its position somewhere in the plane. Those are various actions we conceive of of this type shape. You can imagine that you're at a company that wants to develop, let's say, architectural plans, and they want an elaborate way to automatically draw such plans and help the human architects. So they could sit down and write such a package. Such packages exist. So if we had shape, we would have different kinds of shapes, and they would have different ways to describe them. And then again, as I said earlier, we would have actions on them. Let's just take a little bit of a look at how that might get done in C++. Let's say we had the shape rectangle. So we use class instead of struct, though struct is usable here. It's a subtle difference, but in modern C++, you should use class, the keyword class, and then you get to name the new type. We'll call it rectangle. And then you have an open brace, just like with structs, but then you have a keyword, which is a privacy keyword. And that privacy here is public, which means everybody can use it. And then you have what's called a constructor. That's a special kind of function that allows you to build one of these objects. It's the idea behind an int. Int is a native type, and so the compiler knows how to build an int. It's basically, a, typically, a four-byte representation inside memory. Here, rectangle is taking, is allowing you to use previously defined types and then build this new type. And here's an, an action on the type called area. The area requires returns height times weight. Excuse me, that shouldn't be weight, that should be width. I don't know why I have it as weight.
And so with that correction, we have also private, typically in modern languages, and this includes languages like Java and Python, you hide away the representation, in this case, a height and a width. And we could consider other operations if we were to flesh this out, such as a drawing operation. And now, in our main program, we might declare rectangle as R, and we give it things to initialize, 2.5 type 2.0. We might have a AR variable that where we're going to uh, compute area, and then we could say AR equals, and we use the dot notation, which is the same notation that you use in C with structs. And now what happens is on this rectangle, don't forget R is a rectangle, area is computed. And secretly, area is this thing with a height and a width of 2.5 times 2. So this AR should end up with the double value 5. OK, that's the essential idea that Bjorn Strustrup added to the C language to change it into a modern language in which you can easily extend the data types by using this idea of class and the idea of having member methods. So not only like in an ordinary C struct you had member data fields, now you also have member functions or sometimes in uh, modern OO speak they're called methods. And we'll see that in a second in code. <laughs>